today's Q&A with Legal Bay, that's me, is I received a cease and desist letter, Attorney Davis. What should I do? Listen, these are never fun to receive. I've sent them out on behalf of clients and some of my clients have received them. The first thing that you should do is make sure that you read the letter and try to get an understanding of what it means and the terms of demand. Most of the time a cease and desist letter at the end will request a date for you to respond. If it's you know a very unreasonable time, a day or two days, really most likely a per an attorney didn't draft it, maybe the person who owns the trademark drafted it. Um, and you also wanna make sure you understand what that deadline is just so you can be compliant with the terms. The next thing I would suggest is to set up a consultation with an attorney. A lot of times it's not as expensive as people think, especially if that attorney can give you peace of mind as to the legitimacy of the cease and desist and whether or not you should comply. I've had to walk clients through this process and you know it can really be a doozy, but having the right support on your side can really make all the difference in the world. Hoping.